What's good everybody? SG Scouts here and today we're going to take a look at newest Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver Jalen Rieger. We're going to analyze his college tape from his final season at TCU and project how we think his skill set will translate to the NFL. So let's get right in here. We're going to start off with the Texas game. So on this first play we've got Jalen working at the bottom of the screen against off coverage. He's going to be running a C route and Texas is going to play a cover three with both of the outside corners dropping into a deep third zone. Now the strongest part of Jalen's game is his athleticism and how fluid of a mover he is. He can consistently create separation with his explosiveness out of his breaks and this makes him an effective route runner at all three levels. So on this route he's going to be showing he's going to display solid mental processing understanding that it's a zone due to the corner playing zone turn technique. He's going to use a double trigger step at the top of the route to win that outside leverage and gain a lot of separation. Now let's take a look at that in full speed so you can understand how fluid of a mover he is and you'll see how he sort of just glides through his route. He just does not lose speed at any point in that route. Now he's going to be working from the bottom of the screen against soft coverage yet again. And he's going to be running a go route while the DP is going to be playing a deep zone. And he's just going to display the very good vertical speed he has. As the DB plays a little too shallow on the zone, giving Jalen the space and time to burn him deep. Just one misstep can be a big play when Jalen's on the field. Here we have him lined up as the X receiver on the inside. He's going to run a mesh route and display that he can use his speed to win in the short game as well. As soon as that ball hits his hand, he displays his good yak ability, explodes up the sideline. Good stuff there. Now we've got him at the bottom of the screen working from the slot. TCU is going to run a quick swing pass for him here. And Jalen's going to display his very good change of direction and short area burst to make defenders miss and gain yards. Now his athletic profile and his traits are going to make him a very versatile and valuable weapon in the NFL. He'll be able to make plays from screen passes, jet sweeps, and, and those types of plays. Now we've got Jalen at the top of the screen as the X receiver and TCU is going to run a quick QB sweep his way. Now as a blocker, he does show adequate competitive toughness and aggressiveness. I'd like to see him land his hands and attempt to drive the DB back, but he doesn't do that on this play. And to contribute as a receiver to a winning football team, he's going to have to be able to do it in all facets of the game and that includes blocking. We've got him here at the top of the screen against Baylor, working against off-man coverage. He's going to be running a comeback route. He's going to display good route, route manipulation with the stutter step. And then he's going to show that very good explosiveness again at the top of the route. As he just explodes out of his break, creating a ton of separation. Huge passing window for the quarterback. Unfortunately, underthrows it, resulting in an interception. But this play shows why Jalen will be successful at all three levels, especially that medium level in the NFL. Here we have him on the bottom of the screen, working against off-man coverage here against Baylor. He's going to run a seven-yard slant. One of Jalen's biggest issues is the fact that he does have inconsistent hands when he's forced to catch the ball away from his frame. On this play, you're going to see that he drops the ball. He also displays adequate competitive toughness working over the middle. As when he works over the middle, you do see sometimes that he braces for contact and that causes him to have drops. So this is definitely something Jalen will need to work on to become a consistent quality starter in the NFL. Now the Baylor game overall was pretty tough for him. As you can see him here at the bottom of the screen working against off coverage. He's going to do well at first to get in the DB's blind spot before he stems the top of his route. But you're going to see yet another drop as he tries to catch this ball with his body. Big no-no, something that won't fly in the NFL and will lead to inconsistency with his catching. But yet another thing to notice on this play is that he was definitely influenced by the safety that was coming over the top. And he's got to show better courage in the NFL when dealing uh, with routes over the middle. Can't be afraid of taking a hit. 
And here's yet another play from the Baylor game. Another drop, unfortunately. It really was a tough game for him. You're going to see that TCU is going to run the screen action to the right for him as he is the receiver at the top of the screen. This will be yet another play where he tries to catch with his body. Ball is going to hit right off his chest plate, bounce right off of him. Definitely needs to uh, work at becoming more of a hands catcher. And this is just another play showing how Jalen can be a vertical threat. As he's at the top of the screen as the X receiver here against Purdue. Going up against soft press, the corners will be playing a deep zone and Jalen's going to be running a straight go route. He's just going to use his vertical speed to beat him. Creates a good throwing window for the quarterback who's unable to deliver. But this shows that if you're not going to meet him with physicality and land your hands, he has the ability to run right by you. On this play, we've got Jalen as the number two receiver from the top. And TCU is going to run a jet sweep through him to the strong side. Now, he does have very good athletic traits, but he shows adequate competitive toughness as a runner. He tries to avoid contact more often than I'd like. As you can see here, he does have a lane to bounce it upfield, but instead he rides this block to the outside and gains minimal yardage. What I'd like for him to do on this play would be right here to bounce it upfield, but instead he tries to carry this block horizontally and gains basically no yards. Now here's a bonus clip from 2018. Jalen's going to be at the top of the screen working against Damon Arnett in press man. Arnett was the Raiders' first round pick this year, so this is pro-level competition. Now this isn't the all-22 view, but I just wanted to highlight this spectacular grab as he just plucks it out of the air with one hand. With this play showing off the potential he has with his hands, he just needs to work on the consistency, really. I'm to get my final thoughts on Rieger and summarize what we saw on tape. As always, this is the 7-point scale that we'll be using, with 4 being that average baseline value for an NFL player, then going up or down from there. Now looking at his strengths, what really jumps off the page when you watch him is athleticism. He's just so quick in and out of his breaks, and although he's a fairly raw prospect, his athletic traits make his potential very high, and I think um, with proper coaching, um, he will add a few tricks to both his release game and his route running game, and those could become very good pretty quickly. And he does display a solid understanding of what's going on on the field. On the other hand, there are some areas for concern. He does play someone. I'd like to see him become more aggressive as a runner and during contested catch situations, especially when he's working in the middle of the field. I think he's limited as a blocker to his adequate play strength, um, but I think he will show effort on a more consistent basis, and I could see him improving steadily over his career with proper NFL coaching. Uh, most importantly, I think he needs to get rid of that body catching tendency that he has. He needs to spend some hours uh, with the jugs machine and just make sure that his hands are consistent. And this is the final projection. This is how I see his career panning out. With this being the final projection, this is the end of the video. Please make sure to correct me if I made any mistakes during the film session. And let me know if there's a player you want to see featured in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell to never miss a video. All the support is much appreciated, and yeah, fly Eagles fly.